What's up, Video Four Nation? I'm Magic Bard, and I was just editing a promo for a car rental company called B and W and Summer Ray, and I was doing this pretty cool transition effect that I noticed that I can actually show you guys how to do too. It's a custom masking transition from one clip to the next that can really um, spice and things up for your video and make it a little more dynamic. So instead of using crossfades all the time. We could add a little bit of this into it and have some fun. So, with that being said, I want to give some shout outs to the homies Mike Ferris, Noogie Custom, and Mustafa Chow. Really appreciate the love, guys. Thanks a lot. And if you're new to Video Ford, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it so that way you'll be notified every time we put out a new tutorial every single week. So, let's jump into it. Okay, guys, so here's what we've got our clip of Summer Ray and then the Lamborghini Aventador from Black and White Rentals. Um, shout out to these guys doing a little promo for them. So um, you can check out their stuff on Instagram right here. Cool, check that out and let's get to the tutorial and show you guys how to do this. So basically when you're doing this transition effect, you want to shoot a section or shoot a clip where something wipes across the screen like what's happening right now. So this is just a piece of workout equipment right here that uh, we pass by right there and this will create a good nice little wipe transition into our next clip which will be the Lamborghini. Okay so you know another Another way of doing this is say when someone walks by the camera or that type of thing. It could really be anything that covers the top and bottom of the frame and wipes completely across camera like that. I would also uh, check out Edgar Wright's films, the director Edgar Wright, who does um, a lot of these transitions and also really cool effects. So definitely check that out. So what we're going to do is take your clip put it into a sequence or in in our timeline right here and then we're gonna create this transition wipe so right as we start to see let me just make this a little bit smaller okay so right as we start to see our um, wipe start to happen we're going to mask it okay so right about here I'm going to go to the effects and controls, make sure that your clip is selected, and then under opacity, you'll see these um, tools where you can create a mask, okay? So you can create a circle or an ellipse, a square, four point polygon, or you can use the pen tool to create your own. So if someone's walking by the camera, I would use that pen tool, but since this is basically a straight line, we can use the square, okay? And now all you have to do is cover up your whole clip and we're gonna start the wipe from here okay so I'm gonna go right here and since this piece of workout equipment is fairly close to the camera you can see that it has this nice little blur so what we're gonna do is turn up the feather so that we have that solid blur in it as well so I'm gonna go about right here hit that keyframe mask path and then I'm gonna go back one frame so if you hit this the mask should track with your clip so let's see what happens here okay so that obviously didn't happen um, sometimes it doesn't really work well in Premiere that's why I usually always use After Effects for effects but um, we'll work with that so I'm gonna zoom in here just so I can see my keyframes a little bit better and then start to jump forward in time so I'm gonna hit this button and hopefully it tracks nope still didn't so all you have to do is just move it move your mask and then do that for every frame so you know sometimes this is actually an easier version of the effect since we only have this straight line so it's pretty easy to do this but if you have someone walking in front of camera or maybe a more complex object that isn't a straight line like 
I don't know, a triangle or anything other than a straight line, this could be a bit tedious, but in the end, it does add for a very cool transition in your story or promo or little video that you guys may end up doing. So we're just about done here. And Boom, I'm going to give it maybe one more, and I'll just move it out right there. All right, cool. So now we have this transition, as you see, take place. Now all we have to do is put this up to the V2 track number two, and then we'll put the clip that we want to reveal under it. So that will be our Lamborghini shot, okay, that I already put the in and out points on, and we can drag this bad boy right under it. And this clip is actually shot in 120 frames per second, so this is slow-mo. So what I'm going to have to do is speed it up. So right-click on it, go to speed and duration, and maybe turn it up to 400%. And now what we have, should I say now that we should have this nice transition. Cool. Let me zoom in here to show it to you guys a little bit better. And one more time. Bring it to the beginning. There we go. Cool, so it's fairly fast because this foreground image was really close to camera. So if you have parts that are a little bit further, you can see the transition a little bit more, but this is the gist of it, right guys? Okay, so this black part, we need to cover that up. So what we're gonna do is just drive the clip back and boom, there we go. So that's the custom mask transition effect that you guys can do to your clips to or to your movies and videos to make them look a little more dynamic, adding some cool little transitions other than your normal um, applied default transition, which is the crossfade usually um, on most Premiere Pro applications. So yeah, guys, here's a great way to add some more to your movies. Hope this worked out. All right, guys, I hope that tutorial helped you out in creating awesome new epic transitions. If it did, leave us a like and let us know in the comment section what other type of visual effects you guys would like to learn or techniques that you would want to do in videos in terms of uploading for Instagram and Facebook or any type of content related stuff that we can help you out in Premiere Pro, After Effects, and, and the like. And I'll try and get to those as soon as possible. This is Video Fort, I'm Magic Bard, and I'll see you guys on the next one.